are you doing here so early in the morning? Well, I have some news. Good news? Very good news. All right, out with it. Rick and I are getting married. Really? Mm-hmm. Well, what does your mother think about this? Well, she doesn't know yet. Rick and I are going to tell her together. Oh, congratulations. Thank you. Oh. So I have to admit, I'm a little surprised. Oh? Well, yes. While we were in Chicago, I had the distinct feeling that, well, that you cared for Jamie Frame. You did? Yes. As a matter of fact, I, uh, I thought he was one of the main reasons you came back to Bay City. Well, maybe that's what I thought then. Well, I can't help but feel there's well, more to it. Have you seen much of Jamie since his marriage to Cecile? Yeah, I've seen him maybe a couple of times. Well, how is he? Uh, does his marriage seem to be working out? Is he happy? I don't know. I have the feeling that you do know something. I guess I do have reason to believe that there are some problems there already, yeah. What reasons? Well, the other night, Rick and I went over to the Connection for dinner. Mm-hmm. We ran into Jamie. It was obvious he had already had a couple of drinks before we got there, and then he just kept going full steam ahead, drinking double scotches all night like they were water. That doesn't sound like Jamie. I know. He drank so much he finally passed out cold. Rick and I had to take him over to Rick's quarters at the hospital. He passed out? Dead to the world. Well, what in the world brought this on? I mean, surely he must have said something. No, nothing really direct, anyway. He was just in really bad shape. As a matter of fact, he was trying to get hold of his mother when he finally lost consciousness. Really? Mm -hmm. I wonder what that was all about. Mr. Barry, Mrs. Frank is here to see you. Oh, Alice, hello there. Hello, Mac. Please come right in. I can only stay a minute. I'm on my way to work. May I get you some tea or coffee? No, thank you, Louise. Thank you, Louise. Is uh, Rachel here? No, I'm afraid she isn't. I see. Well... Is there anything I can do? No, um... It was just something I wanted to tell Rachel. Well, you would like to take a message? Well, it was just something about Jamie. I'll catch her another time. No, uh, what about Jamie? Well, Mac, I know that you... I can tell you're concerned about him. Won't you tell me? Marianne and Rick ran into Jamie the other night over the connection. Oh, well, Jamie drank so much that he passed out. Jamie passed out? That's what Marianne told me. She said he was in very bad shape. It's not like Jamie. Well, I know. At any rate, they took him to Rick's quarters at the hospital, and he slept it off there. He must have had an awful lot to drink. Well, either that or he was mixing his poisons. You know, Alice, he's... He's been under a tremendous amount of pressure in his work. Well, that could be. However, um, from what I hear, he's been under a lot of pressure for quite some time now. Yes, that's true. Still, a, a person doesn't suddenly drink like that without a, a good reason, uh, that's for sure. One other thing Marianne said may throw a little light on it. What's that? Well, she said that Jamie was trying to reach Rachel just before he blacked out. Hi! Oh, I thought I missed you. You did. But I, uh, I forgot something. Well, I'm glad you had to come back. Oh, well, why? Because I wanted you to see me. Okay, I see you. Yeah, but do you see that I'm okay? I mean, that I'm really okay? I see that you are well, yes. Lee and I had a wonderful time, Mom. That's nice. Can't you at least be happy for me? No. I'm sorry, honey. I really am. But I don't approve of what you Why did. Why not? Why, don't act so surprised. You know very well I didn't want you going off for a weekend with Lee. Now that you've done it, I'm not going to lie and pretend that everything's just great. But it was such a special weekend, Mom. Isn't this the type of thing that we're supposed to be able to talk about and share? I'm sorry, Lee. I don't want to hear about it. I just want 
should I know how rightly and I are for each other? How could you possibly know that? What do you mean? I mean, you've known him for about 20 seconds. Oh, come on now, don't exaggerate. I'm not. What does, what does Lee Hobson know about Sally Fraley? Except that she's a beautiful young lady. I think we know each other a little better than that, Mom. You're just rushing into this with your eyes closed. Oh, Mom, listen to no. me. No, no, thank you. I believe that what you did was wrong. And I think that now, at least, you can respect my wishes and spare me the details. 